Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Retired Vet Show. Today we have a story, a very sad story to cover. Uh, four law enforcement officers were killed when they were trying to serve a felony search warrant to a uh, person that was uh, being charged with uh, possessing an illegal firearm. A shootout that killed four law enforcement officers and wounded four others in North Carolina began as officers approached a home to serve a warrant for a felon wanted for possessing a firearm. Some of the officers who rushed to the Charlotte, Charlotte North neighborhood Monday afternoon to rescue the first wave of down officers were wounded as a second shooter began shooting on them after they killed the wanted man. Charlotte Mecklenburg's police chief Johnny, Johnny Jennings said, Today, we lost some heroes who were out simply trying to keep our community safe. There was a three hour standoff. Armored vehicles were smashed into it, ripped off windows and entire doorways that were left broken. Several armored vehicles were parked across the yard with tree branches dangling off, the, off of them. The U.S. Marshal's Office, in conjunction with the local law enforcement, uh, approached the house and the man was killed in the front yard, Jennings said. Police identified him. I won't, I will not identify him by his name. I would not give him that that glory or fame if that's what he was trying to, to get. But the suspect uh killed four law enforcement officers before they uh fatally killed him. He was wanted for possession of a firearm by a felon and two counts of felony fleeing to elude in Lincoln County, North Carolina. A second person then fired on officers from inside the home where a high-powered rifle was found. After the police department special weapons and tactics team negotiated with other people in the house, two females came out and were taken into a police station to be interviewed. And there was a 17-year-old male who was also being questioned. That's pretty sad. Not only did the four officers lose their lives, the suspect lost his life and possibly these people who were inside the house shooting are going to be charged with with murder because they decided to to shoot as well it's tragedy all the way around nobody wins on this one and i don't care about what color they were i don't care what sex they were this should not have happened this was a tragedy that could have been avoided if he would have just come out and gave himself up and too many times we we get the um, the the ambulance chaser showing up on the scene right after it, proclaiming that the police did something wrong when we don't even have all the facts. This is evolving because when this case first this news article first came out, the headline says three law enforcement officers were shot and killed. But when you start reading the the story, it said four law enforcement officers were killed. So the facts are, are fluid; they're constantly changing. But one thing that hasn't changed is that we will say a multiple number of police officers, to be more accurate, were shot and killed. And the person they were going there to serve the warrant upon was shot and killed. So tragedy on both sides. And until we get the full report, even the body cam footage, we won't know what actually happened there unless there's other video within the community from other people's door cameras or law enforcement releases the body cam footage then we'll know the full story. But until then, I can only simply tell you what has been uh, put out in the news. But I thank you for watching The Retired Vet Show. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like the content that has been presented, please consider subscribing. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.